Patrick Mid 10 Outdoors. How is my outdoor crew doing? We are we are headed to the Smokies. You saw in the beginning. Uh, I've been looking at the old pictures of when I went to the Smokies the first time camping. It's all old military tent, and uh, one of the fellows you saw in the pictures that was my assistant scoutmaster, Mr. Billy Moore. God be with him. He, uh, hope he's with me on this trip. <laughs> I learned a lot from that guy in scouting. Um, he was a back, true backpacker, hiker, uh, camper back then. You know, a lot of the stuff I learned was from him. So I'm kind of reliving that camping trip from 30 some odd years ago. It was probably around 83, 84 when I went. Trying to go again a few years later, I'll say a few years later, probably 10 or 15 years later, and I couldn't get there. Uh, long story behind that, but I'm doing it. I know it's going to be a wet weekend, but it is what it is. Prove that I'm not a fair weather camper. I'll camp in the rain, I'll camp in the snow. I've done that before too. It can be miserable, but if done right, it can be done right. It won't be so miserable. But uh, I'm going to put the camera down because I'm on the interstate and it's pretty busy this morning. It's about 11.41, so I'm hoping to be at Cades Cove around 3-ish today. No big hurry because I'm by myself. I'm not something to, you know, any agenda. I'm um, just going to play it by the seat of my pants which I'm wearing shorts right now, but that'll probably change too because it's supposed to be wet and cool all weekend. All right, guys, we'll let's see you when we get back or something cool happens. made it wet but I made it um whoop oh, here we go with the weather thing um so right now here in Townsend is where the lowest where the closest weather station is it's 48 degrees winds are west southwest at six miles per hour 100% moisture draining uh two percent sun right now so, rain chances for tomorrow, 99%. Boy, it's just a big ball of fun. But we'll um, shut everything off. I have messaged my wife. I have messaged Danny. So they know I'm here. They know I'm set up. And uh, we'll stop this for a second we'll get out and I'll show you where I've got the tent how I've got the awning and all that good stuff set up all right see well yeah you can you can see the awning back there so I'm back all right guys so I'm under the canopy as you see I got the truck backed up right here I did this on purpose so I could back part of the truck under the canopy now get this for future references I'm gonna get some leveling blocks so I can level the bed that way it's not an angle the whole time this is a slight angle but it's okay i mean it's not 
Fall Creek Falls angle. Um, bathroom is right through there. You see that building right over there? Right there. And then there is my tent for the night on the camp spot. Got uh, my fire pit, picnic table, which I will not use. I'll base it up under here. Of course, the water, anything doing with food has to go in the cab of the truck when I'm not using it. So we'll be putting that up. But uh, yeah, I'm set up, ready for adventuring tomorrow in the Great Smoky Mountains. I do have a movie to watch tonight if I want to. I've got uh, Da Vinci Code downloaded. I got music, so I'm good to go. I've got everything I need, except for I forgot something. My big camera. That's okay, so everything's going to be done on point and shooter GoPros. Or cell phone, for that matter. But anyways, I've got to find water. So, on onward and upward, finding water. Alright, it's dinner time. Having something simple tonight. Made a chili pie. Just used a can of chili and some Fritos and cheese and sour cream and that's it. Something warm. Um, probably going to be an early night tonight. Probably going to go in the tent later and watch a movie. And Can't have a fire. It's raining too much. Um, so we'll just forego the fire tonight. Although around midnight it's supposed to stop raining. I'll be asleep. But, uh, anyway, if you're hearing that beeping, that is my wife messaging me back on Zillow. It's working. But anyway, um, that's it for now. I've just been lounging a little bit, listening to a little bit of music, and probably hear it, probably get demonetized. Oh, I'm already demonetized. Um, I guess I could pause it. But, uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing for right now. Going to eat a little supper. I'll have to clean up. Then I'll have to, uh, in that tone, uh, dee 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 dee, lets me know my message went through. That's pretty cool. So we're able to talk back and forth, message back and forth, can't call. Um, and I can see send emails, so I wonder if I could send an email with a picture in it. Let me try it. Doubt it. But anyway, the colors are beautiful. You see the colors? I know there's camping people around, but still. Look at the colors. It's not quite pink yet, I don't think. So, I'm already relaxing. Didn't realize how they do the tents around here. It is what it is. But we're going to have fun. And I'll talk to you in a little while. It is 7.30. I am in the tent. And the reason for being is because it's still raining. Uh, couldn't even have a campfire tonight. That's how bad it is out. But it's not windy or anything. Um, just a steady rain. Nice and dry here in the Shangri-La. Let's see. Let me put this somewhere. So, I'm going to watch a movie. And hang out for the night in the tent. But so far, so good. Nothing, no big problems um, outside of the rain. But uh, the Zinio is working pretty good. I'm messaging the wife back and forth. Not a whole lot, but we're we're talking and she's keeping up with what's going on um, I did forget my big camera so we're down to this and my GoPros so it is what it is it is a nice balmy 48 degrees right now this wind it feels a little cooler than that but I know it's not but anyway I keep dropping things because I keep forgetting I put things in certain areas. But uh, that's it for now. Unless something major happens, I'll probably just pick this up in the morning with a nice brew of coffee. Like I said, the, the uh, leaves are gorgeous out here today on the way in. And uh, 
yeah it's been real pretty all right guys that's it for now i will see you in the morning what's going on everybody <laughs> it's saturday morning it is i still got my headlamp on holy crap saturday morning it is nine o'clock my time ten o'clock their time and i'm packed up it's not supposed to stop raining all day so we're what would I, what i'm gonna do is i am gonna drive around some places i will tell you i love Cades Cove Campground. I will be back to Cades Cove Campground. Um, yeah, this this rain, looking at uh, the weather forecast and everything, 99% chance of rain all day till 4 a.m. So the stuff's going to be wet one way or the other. The tent stayed dry. So all the waterproofing stuff I did to the tent worked. Now, what didn't work? The canopy, my blue canopy we've used for a couple of years now with uh, cheerleading and everything else, is leaking like a sieve. And I don't understand, it's never done that before, but I mean, it just, I, it may be just the fact that it's rained, rained, and rained some more. It rained all night last night. It, you know, hadn't slowed down. And it's kind of funny, everybody around me is packing up for the, you know, they're said, I've done enough <laughs> but anyway as I pull out of here I think it's still parked down here I got something to show you it's pretty darn cool but uh, as far as a campgrounds love Kate's Cove we'll be back but check out the overlanding van that is pretty sweet and if I get a video of your van it's a Mercedes Sprinter full drive looks like that's a pretty sweet ride so anyway, right now I'm going to go to the park office, let them know I'm out. Got a couple things I want to do there. And then uh, we're headed out and about the Smokies, then home. Well, it's gone everybody. We are going to make the Cage Cove loop real quick. I hear their bear out. So we go where the bear are. Um, We're gonna look and see if we see the bear, because they I heard a couple places that bear are out in the cove on the loop. So we're gonna go look and see. Check that out. You can see the colors are coming in to the mountains, guys. When you absolutely will make sure your 
going where you're going. You fire up Gaia and Garmin. Between the two, I hope, gosh, I get where I'm going. I think it's funny, the big stop we're doing right now is because of wild turkey over here in the pasture. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can walk out my back door and see turkey. I will say the most exciting thing I saw at camp last night, well, today, was squirrel and crows. Wow, crows are all over the place at the campsite. I guess they know free food. Hey, well, the turkeys are coming close, so gobble, gobble. <laughs> hey, Thanksgiving's coming. Okay, I'm going to throw in a picture right about now. Um, you see those black spots? Those are bear cubs up in the tree. Mama is down on the ground. Um, park ranger was explaining that to everybody as they went by. But those black spots were two bear cubs up in the trees. So, pretty cool. Um, got to see bears from afar. A <laughs> Very far. But, uh, anyway. Man, there's been some cool wild, wildlife through here. And, uh, well, just keep driving and keep looking. day short um, this rain is relentless I've got a lot of stuff to dry out inside my tent stay dry the tents wet but inside the tent stay dry and it rained all night last night all afternoon yesterday and it was still raining this morning and according to everything I was hearing there I wasn't the only one that was bailing out um, park ranger said there were a lot of people leaving and i can understand it i mean you know you can only do so much i did all i could in the rain and um well we'll be back good reason i have to come back now but uh once again i want to say loved cage cove campground uh, heads up there are no showers at that campground so if you stay there be dirty for a day or two um, bathroom's pretty decent. I mean, National Park. Uh, the camping sites are really nice. I really like the camping sites. Kind of close together, but you know, that's what you get when you car camp in that area. Um, Cades Cove did not disappoint. Even in the rain, it still didn't disappoint. 
Um, got to see some bear from afar and uh, some other nice wildlife. And um, well, that's it for this one, guys. I appreciate you watching. I wish it could have been longer. I wish I could have done more. But you don't do so much in the rain. And it's constant. It's raining now. I'm going to rain all my way home. <laughs> but, uh, yep, that's it for this one. Share, like, subscribe, and be prepared.